It has become necessary for me to address you, having heard from many concerned Nigerians and having concluded a meeting with all the security chiefs. I must warn those who have hijacked and misdirected the initial, genuine, and well-intended protest of some of our youth in parts of the country against the excesses of some members of the now disbanded Subshell Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. On Monday, 12th October, I acknowledge the genuine concerns and agitations of members of the public regarding the excessive use of force by some members of SARS. The choice to demonstrate peacefully is a fundamental right of students as enshrined in Section 40 of our Constitution and other enactments. But this right to protest also imposes on the demonstrators the responsibility to respect the rights of other students and the necessity to operate within the law. As a democratic government, we listened to and carefully evaluated the five-point demands of the protesters. And having accepted them, we immediately scrapped SARS and put measures in place to address the other demands of our youth. On approving the termination of SARS, I already made it clear that it was in line with our commitment to the implementation of extensive police reforms. Sadly, the promptness with which we have acted seemed to have been misconstrued as a sign of weakness and twisted by some for their selfish and patriotic interests. The result of this is clear to all observers. Human lives have been lost, acts of sexual violence have been reported, two major correctional facilities were attacked and convicts freed, public and private properties completely destroyed or vandalized, the sanctity of the palace of a peacemaker the Oba of Lagos has been violated. So-called protesters have invaded an international airport and in the process disrupted the travel plans of fellow Nigerians and our visitors. All this executed in the name of the NSAS protests. I am indeed deeply pained that innocent lives have been lost. These tragedies are uncalled for and unnecessary. Certainly, there is no way whatsoever to connect these bad acts to legitimate expression of grievance of the youth of our country. The spreading of deliberate falsehood and misinformation